Hello everyone, this is Sue Broom and I'm here to do the weekly angel card reading for the week of June 20 through 26 of 2022. And as I'm shuffling the first deck, The Desert Speaks, this is my firstborn deck, which I'm going to pull one card, but if you could hold the intention to clear your energy, call in your angels and guides, and that the perfect card, because I'm only pulling one card from this deck, that the perfect card is coming up for everyone, no matter when you're seeing it. And it seems to be taking a while. Is that it? Yeah, there it is. All right, we got it. Sometimes that clicks as it along. Now, second deck, my second born, is the angels are everywhere. And again, continue to hold the intention. I'm going to pull three cards from this deck. And uh, this one, even in the pre-pre-shuffle, a card popped out. All right, so there's the first card. Oop, and there come the chimes. If you're hearing a lot, another little noise, it's, uh, I'm wearing this guy this morning that's got two little bells on it. <laughs> but that was definitely the chimes. They were, they were speaking loud. Speaking quite loudly. All right, so let's see. Come on. Come on, angels. Nope. Thought that was it. We're looking for two more cards. So call in your angels. Hold the intention. Write along with me that these are the perfect cards. And it's definitely... Now, I just heard that Mercury is out of its shadow even, so... Something else is going on from from an astro oh <laughs> from an astrological standpoint anyway. So that one was uh, not wanting to go back in the deck. So that one was pretty obvious, but that was it. So we're looking for one more card. Come on! Huh? You know I always look to see it. It's like uh, is that it? Nope. And sometimes you can, it's, sometimes it's, it's obvious because the card doesn't want to go back in. Sometimes it looks like it is, but it doesn't want to come out. And sometimes if it's, there it is. I was going to say, if it's taking too long, I'm going to spread the cards and pull a card. But it worked. Your intentions kept it going. All right. <sighs> So I'm holding the intention right along with everyone. These are the perfect cards speaking to your soul. That you will get the perfect message that you are meant to hear and feel today. Let's see what the cards have to say. Okay, so let's see what the cards are sharing with us for this week. The Desert Speaks card is... oh. I love this card. I just love this. There's something about this card that just, there's a, a sense of calm and a sense of, you know, when there's a, oh, when there's a sense of hush that comes over, when there's, you know, you're noticing, yeah, there's all kinds of noise, but then all of a sudden there's just kind of this hush. And hush is the best word that I can come up with that... It's the, only, it's the only word they're giving me. But, so allow yourself, and I feel like it's allowing yourself to have the hush come over you. Allow yourself the space. Allow yourself the time. So get in that quiet space. Whatever that means for you. See, even the chimes are quiet. So allowing what is meant to come in and what you're supposed to hear. You know, God's voice coming in, the angel's messages coming in, loved one's messages coming in, whatever it is. But allow yourself that time and space. Ooh, so beautiful. First angel card we have, and remember, these were coming out pretty slow. Ah, I am grateful. And you know, when you go right along with, there go the chimes, when you go right along with the allow and the I am grateful, bringing in that gratitude 
amps up everything else that's going on. So bring in, if you want more messages, make sure and be grateful for all the messages that you are receiving, that you are noticing. If you want more abundance in your life, be grateful for all that you have. If you want more, more time spent with friends, you know, with, with people that you can have those awesome conversations, bring in the gratitude for the times that you are able to do that and the, and the people that you do spend your time with and they're able to do that. Second angel card we have is share your wisdom. Now it is, it, it is so important. So when you get the inspiration, when you allow yourself to get the inspiration, bring in the gratitude and share the wisdom with others. And that can be, or it could be in a phone conversation, it could be in the written word, it could be maybe you're working on a book and you're sharing these inspirations for a future book or you're putting it on your social media. However you do it, share your wisdom. Ooh, so powerful. Third angel card we have is, uh, I don't know what it is. Loved ones in spirit, I love this. Oh, see, did you hear the chimes going off? But it goes back to allowing, allowing yourself to be open. You know, there's, um, especially shortly after someone passes, you know, people are like, oh, I want a message right away. I want a message right away. But sometimes they, uh, they, they have to allow themselves the grieving time and allow themselves to truly be open to the messages. Some, some people are just in so much grief right away. But this is absolutely. So if someone is thinking, you know, the first person that you thought of when you saw this card, loved one in spirit. And today being Father's Day, it could very well be your father. Maybe it's your mother. Maybe it's a spouse. Maybe it's a friend. It could be, you know, whoever came to your mind. But when you get those messages from whether it's your angels or your loved ones, share the wisdom and be grateful. And sharing the wisdom may be that you're sharing that message that you got from someone else who is struggling with, oh, I haven't gotten any messages from my loved one. Or maybe it's somebody that knew that person as well. Allowing, allowing, allowing. This is just the universe's way of saying, be open. So it's going to be a fabulous week. I would say it feels like more of the absolute metaphysical is coming in for us in a big way. Ooh, and we do have the solstice this, this week as well. So notice. All right, angel blessings to you. Make it a magical day and have an awesome week, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you want to find out more about me, go to my website, subram.com. And that's where you can find out about the services I have. I, have, I do angel card readings, transformational angel card readings for people, as well as healing sessions. See, chimes agree. And I also have a link to my Etsy store, which has over 600 items. Many, many, many of them are inspirational and like affirmational, mantra-like. Some of them are funny. So go check that out. But my link is on my website, subroom.com. And you can also find out how to get to the over 200 journals that I have available on Amazon. All different covers uh, most of the interiors are the same but it's the cover that changes so whatever gives you inspiration and also I have a link to the two books that I have written both of them one with loved ones and one with the angels so those are available all available on my website zooburn.com if you'd like to find out anything else more about me go there find out you can sign up for my blog. I also do a messages from the angels blog every single week. So whatever inspiration the angels are giving me. So that turns out to be the blog. And is there anything else? I think that's it. Oh, like and share this video. And I'd love to hear your comments.
and so are the chimes. Angel blessings to you. Make it a great day and have an awesome week.